Hello everybody and welcome to another Ask Dr. Bob and we have some really awesome questions today. I had someone ask a very unusual question. I can't stand food. When I eat food, I feel nauseated. A lot of times individuals will say to me that they lost the taste for meat. When you lose the taste for meat, usually you need more digestive enzymes and we encourage something called betaine hydrochloride. It helps you digest meat and animal products better. I also have found individuals who are having a problem with food. Here's a rough rule of thumb. When you eat food and your stomach does not bother you and the food causes distress, you could have what we call gastritis or gastric ulcer. If you have pain in your abdomen, and the pain goes away with food, it could be a duodenal ulcer. If you have pain immediately after eating, it's usually a need for digestive enzyme. Oftentimes you lose the taste for meat. If you have problems with digestive distress two or three hours after you're eating, it's usually a gallbladder challenge. I have found from my experience talking to patients, Radishes, they're not bad foods, they're bitter herbs. They can cause digestive distress in individuals who have liver, gallbladder, stagnation, compromise. Very interesting question from someone who asked about a condition called PCOS. That's polycystic ovarian syndrome. Ovaries can, because of hormones, start to have cystro on them. It's very common with individuals, ladies, that have not enough iodine. Iodine can be eliminated in your body from bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. Chlorine is from taking a shower. Bromine is from hot tubs. Chlorine, obviously, is from a swimming pool and from taking a shower. So you have fluorine could come from toothpaste, fluoride treatment. So bromine, fluorine, and chlorine are antagonistic to iodine. So if you're someone right now, female, that has chronic polycystic ovarian syndrome, it could be lack of iodine. It was a very good question, by the way, and we talk about that in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. And if you know someone who's having a hard time getting pregnant, you can go to YouTube and watch the video that we taped with Michelle, who was having a problem getting pregnant and she did have PCOS and her dad heard me speak and he heard me say that iodine or lack of iodine causes PCOS. That's really a very good question and that's why I spent a few extra moments with that particular one. Somebody wrote in and said, Dr. Bob, I'm always tired. I wake up tired. Here's my answer to you. If you wake up tired in the morning, and if you wake up in the morning with a headache that goes away as the day goes on, it's usually a low thyroid, cold hands and cold feet. So if you're tired, cold hands and cold feet. If you wake up in the morning and you have a headache that goes away as the day goes on, thyroid. If you're always tired and fatigued, if bright light bothers your eyes, if you get dizzy from a sit to a stand position, so bright light bothers your eyes, dizzy from a sit to a stand position, it could be your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are on top of your kidneys. They're impacted by eating sugar. They're impacted by stress. I want you to think of your thyroid as the gas pedal and your adrenal glands are the fuel pump. Sugar and stress impact the adrenal glands. If you wake up in the morning and you have a headache that goes away, thyroid, cold hands and cold feet thyroid, constipations thyroid, Depression is also thyroid. So thyroid and adrenal gland, they both can cause tired and I differentiated the two of them for you. A very common question that I have is morning headaches. And I just kind of answered that to you. It's usually a blood sugar stress challenge. We use a product in our practice called Bioglycozyme Forte. We have our patients take two at 10 o'clock in the morning two at three o'clock in the afternoon, and two, two hours after dinner. Bioglycozyme Forte, when you wake up with a headache in the morning, it's usually a blood sugar problem. If 
you have a low thyroid gland, you're going to have cold hands and cold feet. So these are just questions that I just know from my experience, but I'm trying to help you. You're going to want to have an assessment by your healthcare provider to see how your thyroid gland is functioning or not. Cold sores. Cold sores are quite common, especially during the winter time or if you go to a sunny place and your body has a lack of calcium in it. So if you have cold sores, cramping um, at nighttime, poison ivy, all body signals for lack of calcium. Here's an interesting question. Dr. Bob, when you say sugar, does that mean honey? Well, I want you to know something. Yes, when you say sugar, that does in fact mean honey. Because see, honey is 95% sugar. If you're going to eat honey, you want to eat honey from a local source. You don't want to buy honey at your commercial grocery store. You want to buy honey from your local geography. Now, I can tell you this about honey. It's 95% sugar. I don't eat honey. I'll tell you one last little nugget about honey. If you ever burn yourself, put honey with flour and you place that on the burn, it is amazing what that honey and flour combination will do. So thank you once again for Ask Dr. Bob. Stay tuned next week. Pass this on. There's a lot of really good tips there. Bye.